Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, just wanted to take a moment to try to explain something because a lot of people don't get it. I grew up in a environment where we weren't the most wealthy people on the planet, but we also were not the poor, struggling, every day to make ends meet family either. We made do with what we had. My mother had a knack for telling us not to go in other people's houses and accept anything, especially she did not want us eating other people's food. <laughs> because she said that she cooks. She said that she provides for us, that we don't need to be going to nobody else, asking them for nothing or receiving anything from anyone. When people offered us gifts, we turned them down. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, but don't need it. So there is a, a neighbor that I have. I told people about this neighbor. They have uh, and set up. Those of you who are going to have your own little sly comments in the background, just shut up and let me tell this story. Man. The neighbor, they're elderly. They moved to the area. They are trying to make it out here, and they they have a place where they have in town, but they are trying to retire and move here. They bought the land. They have the land. And so what I did is I told them that, they asked me if I would keep an eye on their property to the best I can while they're not here. And I told them, yeah, my cameras are focused in that direction anyway. I said, now, they're quite a ways away to where I can barely see. I can make out where their property is on the camera, but it's too far away for me to pick up faces or license plate number and all of that. But I can definitely pick up the fact that there's somebody on the property. So I go by there and I visit them because they text me and let me know when they're coming in and they usually come in at night and I can see their lights on the property and that's why they text me so that you know I'll know it's them well I went by their place the following morning and I spoke with both the husband and the wife and as I'm trying to tell them about the camera system and about solar panels the wife says look I have something for you and she I, I, hold on before you say no I'm going to tell you you're going to accept this and I'm not taking no for an answer. They barely even know me. And she knows that I was going to tell her no. Barely even know me. And it wasn't a lot. It was just a gesture. And I accepted her gesture. It's actually sitting right behind me. But that was because I had told them that I would give them something to help out with their camera situation. I was gonna give them a camera that was fairly new. I mean, I barely used it. And it actually speaks. I didn't even tell them that. <laughs> it actually has audio. So I will uh, definitely let them know about that. I'll probably go to their house in a moment. Um, I'm mentioning this to all of you because right after that, I told them, they told me about you know, they were asking about electricity and battery and how do they do this and do they have to do this and do that. I said, look, this is what I'm going to do. I said, I have something for you. Give me a moment. I said, and then come by in about five minutes and I'll have it ready. I had a battery that I paid about $600 for. It's a solar battery, 48 volts and digital everything. Brand new battery. Literally just wasn't ne needing to use it. And so I brought it to them and gave it to them. And they thought I was lending it for them to borrow, to use. And I said, no, you can have it. And I had already told them, you know, that I had the battery and I told them how much it cost. And they looked at me with bogged out eyes. Really? You know, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not using it. I don't need it. Ladies and gentlemen, that has always been the case. As I say, I don't need to sell something just because I don't need it anymore. It, there, it has no value to me. I can't use it. What value could it have with me? But look at how much you spent on it. Yes, so what? I spent it. It's already gone. I can't get that back. Look, it's like when you take a breath. You cannot get that breath back no matter how hard you try. Once you exhale, 
you can never inhale that same set of molecules in the manner in which they were exhaled. It's gone forever. So once you pay for something, ladies and gentlemen, you can't get it back. You can convince yourself that you've made it back, but you haven't. You had to put forth other efforts in order to get something back that you didn't have after you gave it away. So once you give something away, it's gone. Once you purchase something, it's gone. The purchase price is gone. You cannot go back and repurchase the same item for which you, because it's all logic, people. And so, people have been, from time to time, they make donations. I only put the donations up, pay attention, because individuals ask me, they come, how do I donate to your channel? And so, I put it up. I don't solicit that stuff. Look, I don't care if people watch the videos or not watch the videos. It don't matter. I'm still going to do the videos, people. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I would still be doing this even if nobody watched it. I can't begin to tell you how many videos I make. And I, wait, hold on. I'm just going to tell you about at least one. Hold on. Because it's complete. I'm just not putting it up. Did it last night. Where you at? Come on, hurry up. What you waiting on? Oh, I'm opening up the wrong window. I got to go to videos. It's taking a long time. Been such a long time since I saw you. How long has it been? Oh, there they go right there. Two videos just sitting there. Now, what? No, uh, one video. Sorry, this is this video. This was done last night, 7 p.m. Okay, that one I ain't putting up. But there's a whole lot more videos in here. Okay, that I just do. Like I said, this is what I would do anyway. Memoriam. People keep asking me to write a book. Eventually, I'm not going to have the ability of communicating. So people are going to need to have access. I had one person tell me yesterday, but you talk about too much and you're like all over the place. And I'm like, you better believe I'm all over the place because it's a lot of information stored in this noggin of mine. Of course, I'm all over the place. The fact is, you are all the ones that are supposed to focus, not me. I'm supposed to be all over the place. We have our trading uh, room where we've been trading, and I told them the main focus of that room is called the launch pad. Our focus is to focus on creating money, creating money, creating money. How to create money, the same way that banks create money. Been telling people this for years been telling you about credits, how to create credits. Credits are money. Nobody wants to see. Hey, Tex Mason, you guys know Tex Mason. Uh, THC Trust, okay? Tex Mason just sent me a document. And Tex and I talk quite often. And he sent me a document. I have a lot of respect for Tex Mason, y'all. I have a lot of respect for him. As I told you, if there's anybody else in this that has knowledge that knows what he's talking about that does the research and i mean literally does the re and the search he literally could have been the one who invented the word research is tex mason he backs up what he talks about he studies what he talks about he looks at it from all angles i like tex mason well he sent something to me that I know he realizes what he sent to me, but I know he don't realize what he sent to me because now I get to tell y'all about it, but I can't tell you about it now. You guys are going to have to wait until I go over it. It is an IRS publication. I, I will just let you know that it is right on the tip of the things that I've been talking about lately, especially that car trip. See, I put the video up about foreclosure and about going after the bank challenging their jurisdiction. Not the court's jurisdiction, challenging the bank's jurisdiction. So go look at the videos I just did yesterday talking about foreclosure. Yeah, I promise you, you'll find it enlightening. They're, they're short. They're while I'm traveling on the road. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's 11 o'clock. I'm about to go lay down. Take a nap. Yeah, I'm getting old. No, I'm about to go lay down and take a nap because I woke up at, what time did I wake up this morning? 3 o'clock? But I didn't go to sleep until 11.30. And so I have a meeting later today, and I need to be prepared for the meeting. Then I got to 
been a lot of thought processes. That's what takes away most of my energy is all this thinking. I have to put together the other program that we're getting ready to start. So y'all just bear with us. So those of you who have taken the time to donate, I just needed to say thank you. Only because I didn't want you to think that I didn't know, didn't appreciate, didn't care. That's why I don't like accepting that because you know how many times you have to say thank you to every single person, every single time, every single incident? No, 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 no. That's too much. Okay, y'all take care. Eyes gone because eyes don't know what else to do.